What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Chasing the Checkered. I am Bobby, thanks for joining us. Uh, we are here tonight at Citrus County Motor Speedway and we have a very special guest, Mr. Bray Holmes. Howdy, howdy. You guys know Bray from his channel. Bray, tell him what to do. Go like, share, and subscribe at Bray Holmes Racing. And comment. Hey. There's Josh, the crew chief. So guys, like, share, subscribe, and now comment on Bray Holmes Racing because the last video we have, it's called, what's it called? I don't even remember. You don't I remember? Don't you said it. I know. Bob, Bob and Weave, Weave son. son. Bob and Weave. Okay, if you guys I was go. I about Boot Scoot and Buggy for some reason. I don't, I don't know what that is. If you guys go to Bray Holmes Racing on you, on the YouTube channel and find the video, Bob and Weave, son, and comment number 57, you will be entered for a chance for a giveaway. We are on Bray's channel. Uh, we They are almost at 50 subscribers. So once they hit 50, uh, they're doing a giveaway. So we are here at Citrus County tonight for Pro Truck Race. And we are going to be riding along with Wilson Martins Jr. in the number 88, his Pro Truck, and Maria Martin, the 07. So the guys are down here getting everything uh, squared away, getting it worked on, trying to get the best out of both trucks that they can. Just did some work to this one, now they're working on that one. And we have over there, Jacked Racing. So two trucks tonight at Citrus County. Hopefully the uh, weather holds off. Got some rain right over there. But we're going to see what happens as we go. I'm not even sure how many laps are running. Like, I think 50 here at Citrus County. Here we go. Right, guys this is wilson martins jr the driver of the 88 pro truck um what's up man what's up uh we're getting ready to do 50 laps getting some work done making some adjustments uh, a little tight in practice yesterday getting the brakes all dialed in too we had some problems with that and some issues so we're getting ready to do 50 laps really really fun time i've been having out here really different experience in citrus county rather than Auburn hill speed maybe somewhat i'm used to you know so yeah we're getting ready for 50 laps see how it goes so what made you get into racing uh, actually, believe it or not, it was Lightning McQueen when I was four years old. I was obsessed. <laughs> Begged my parents to stop begging for a go kart started, and go karts raced a little small go karts for two years, won the championship in that. Moved up to Micro Max, then the rock karts, which are little go karts, and then won the championship in that one. And then got into mini cups right at the age of 12, and raced those for two years. Now, for those who don't know what a mini cup is, uh, tell us what a mini cup is. So they're really neat. They're a half-scale NASCAR is basically what it is. It looks like it. It's a half-scale of a race car. Um, they're really interesting. They'll attract the kids' attention like crazy. They did to me, at least. And uh, so, you know, I raced that for two years, and it was really fun. I still miss racing them to the day. Any, I'll take any uh, like opportunity I get to race one of those. But yeah, so I got a championship in that on my second year of racing it. Um, then I went to Pure Stocks just for a year to get the car handling like a. Uh, full-size car i've never been in one so i got electric car 85 metric monte carlo that i drove for a year and that was last year and this year i'm now driving the pro truck and we'll see how it goes i've only done this my third race and it's been going good so far about mid pack so excited to see how this weekend's gonna go all right man so uh any sponsors that you want to give a shout out to um, just my team uh aaron holmes and uh josh todd everyone helping over here my dad especially, he helps out so much with this. My family, my mom, and uh, Martin's Cars is our business and helping them. I don't know what I would do without it, so. All right, man. Well, uh, guys, this is Wilson Martin Jr. Uh, wish you luck tonight, man. We're gonna Thank be watching you. from up top. You're fixing to jump in uh, as long as this rain kind of holds off and so. do some uh, some practicing and qualifying. So we're gonna get all that on film and uh, good luck, brother. Thank One. You. Hello, my name's Maria. I'm the driver number 
number 07 Pro Truck, and uh, we're out here at Citrus County Speedway today. Uh, first time in the truck here, but I'm pretty excited. We got a whole uh, crew here helping us, the whole Coons bunch, which uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, crew chief Josh Todd, uh, so pretty pumped. So now, how long, what got you into racing? Um, I was around cars a lot growing up. My dad uh, liked old cars and stuff, so I was helping with that. And um, went to my first race at like eight, NASCAR uh, race. I got hooked on that, and I started driving at 13, the Mini Cups, and um, 18 now. So. Which we just found out from your brother what the Mini Cups are. Yeah. So apparently they are a half-scale cup car. I mean, which pretty much says the mini cup side of it. Um, so, how did you do in that? We did. We did pretty good. Um, my first race, I, started, I finished top three. Um, we won a few times that season. Uh, my second season, we won the championship. Then from there, moved up to uh, Pure Stocks and uh, got to the field with a bigger car, a big body chassis, the, you know, the 350 engines, and uh, learned how to fix on those a little bit set up and stuff so it was a lot of fun really rowdy but <laughs> it was uh, an experience it was a lot of fun so we moved out of that class I still have mine racing sometimes uh, emotional attachment <laughs> well all right guys we're gonna let her uh, get strapped in fixing to go out for practice or qualifying whichever one comes first um, good luck we're gonna be watching from up top we're gonna have a camera inside your truck and one inside your brother's so uh, let's see who can uh, do outdo who okay. as this uh, battling of the siblings here at Citrus County. What's up, man? What's going on? Guys, if you don't know who this is, this is Jacked Racing with the double zero pro truck so uh we're gonna see how jack goes up against the uh chasing the checker trucks over there so yeah, what's up y'all if you don't know who this is go check it out all right guys we're going out for the first round of practice for the pro trucks let's see how they do hopefully no adjustments needed but let's see what happens here we go
uh, get them off the track. Hopefully it's uh, hopefully it lightens up. It's not too much. I mean it's it's opened up over there, but we got this cell right here. So hopefully we get the show in tonight. See what happens. All right, man. So talk to me. I see they got the transmission pulled out of your truck. What happened? So I think the front seal on it's leaking. So we're gonna have to run back to the house and grab one. Um, I was gonna go see if anybody had one, but I doubt anyone's gonna have one sitting there. Like uh, we have them at our house sitting. We just don't bring them. That's not something you think's gonna happen. I guess it's better than because we thought it was the motor. Something in the back. The motor's leaking. I guess it's better than that. Probably won't make qualifying. I'll start in the back, but I'll be, probably be able to overcome from that. So we'll see how the night goes. Well, if you start in the rear, there's only one place to go, and that's forward. Yep. Exactly. All right, let's see if uh, they get him to get back in this truck. This is there's the old one right there. Got the transmission out of that one. Maria's truck's good. Fixing the bolt tires on. Done? Talk to us. Well, getting this one ready for qualifying. We're having to change the transmission in that. Don't know if we'll make qualifying with the 88 or not. We've already got the transmission full. We're waiting on the next one. All right, so now. We've kind of got a couple different races going on. So we've got brother versus sister, or sister versus brother. Correct. And then we have YouTube channel versus YouTube channel. Which um, they're, uh, they're having issues right now. They have a busted steering box or something, something going on with their steering. I hate to hear that for them. They've been having number of problems. They've got a monkey on their back and I know how it is, it sucks. So not being biased, which YouTube channel would you shoot for tonight? Put my money tonight? on? Yes. I'd put my money on this one right here. All right. Yeah, you heard it no, straight no from the man. Jack. You heard it straight from the man, the myth, the legend, Aaron Holmes, uh, chasing the checkered, and Bray Holmes Racing is going to take home the gold tonight. <laughs> siblings um, back from qualifying so Maria qualified 10th yeah. and qualified 9th yeah. right Always so right now I mean you guys are side by side starting in the feature um, how do you feel about Great that Every time in the pure stocks, we started next to each other when we qualified, we're just stuck together. So. Yeah. Um, but feel comfortable. I know he's having run me in a wall. I won't run him in a wall. So, um, I feel good going into this race. Martin, how was your truck in qualifying? I know you had transmission problems, so they barely got you out there. I mean, everybody else was getting ready to roll out, and your transmission was literally rolling down the pit road. So then they got it in. I mean. Yeah. But, yeah. That, that was fast. Yeah, it was. I think we're at the time. How did the, the crew, the whole crew, yeah. get it in there? Josh Todd, that yeah. one, and what else with my dad? Mine, um, it's a boil for us. Yeah. And, but qualifying, I never really have, I've never been a good qualifier because I don't have someone to chase. It's kind of like a one on pace, you know. So we'll see how the race does. I practiced with Becca and see that kept up with her pretty decent. And I'm happy with it. So we'll see how it goes. Well, you, got, you guys have 50 laps tonight. So uh, go have fun. Remember to live in the moment, right? Sure. Not, not not a lot of people get to race with their siblings. Um, so live in the moment of this, making memories tonight, and uh, go have fun, both of y'all, all right? One. All right, guys, so we have the parents of the drivers tonight. Uh, we have Mr. Wilson and Miss April. So I need to know, as a parent myself, I need to know what you guys are going through when both of your babies are out there on the racetrack. Stomach, you can't breathe. You just pray that they're safe the whole way around. Mom? Yeah, I just 
pray for safety. I don't yeah. care if they come in first, second, or last. I just want to go off the track safe. Now, what, uh, how do you tell yourself it's okay for them to do this sport? Because this is, this is not like football. This is not like baseball. I mean, they're driving vehicles at high rates of speed, um, which is why we love it. But how do you tell yourself it's, it's going to be okay? I don't. I have to fall back on my faith. I let them make the decision to pick the sport, and uh, we try to be as safe as we can. And I think there's risks in every sport, and I just pray that they're going to be safe. That's all. Awesome. Yeah. It's been in God's hands, and they love doing it, so I don't want to take it away from something they love. So. All right. Well, you guys heard it from their mouths. Uh, anything you want to tell them before they go on the racetrack? Have fun. Good we love you. Good luck. We love and you. Bring it back in one piece. Drive it in the trailer, please. There we go. <laughs> y'all heard it here. We'll see y'all. How you feeling, Dad? It's, uh, it's starting to churn right now. Okay? There it is. That's the part. All right. Well, we'll check back in at 50 laps. See how you're feeling then. How about that? <laughs>
Wilson, that was the uh, that was the feature race, man. So you had you went for a couple rides, Hell to yeah. say the least. Uh, you were doing some bobbing and weaving out there. Shout out to Bray Holmes. Um, tell us about it. What happened? Definitely brought back memories of Pure Stock. Um, it was just wild. I, I was right in that spot in the back, it was mid pack, where everything happens. You know, I couldn't really make the pass. So I, I know there was more in the truck. We can make it up there. I definitely feel like we have a good top five, top three truck. Uh, didn't qualify well because I wasn't used to it yet, but now I have a lot of confidence in this. I definitely want to come back to this track because I feel like we can do decent or good. Um, yeah, we just got unfortunately tangled up in all of the mess. It seems like I was involved in every single one out there, just somehow or some way. But it was a fun race anyway. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. There it is. All right, man. Well, good job. Good job. What's up, guys? It's Bray Holmes, and we're back with another video. No, we're actually. We're actually ending, ending a video. I thought we were back. No, we're not back. We're done. That's it. They've raced. Now we go home. We load all this up and go home. We got more laps on the trailer hooked up, son. No, we're done. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far, on behalf of myself, Bray Holmes Racing, Maria Martin, Wilson Martin Jr., and the Mar and the Wilson and the Wilson family. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Chasing the Checkered. We will see you next time. We are, we are off next weekend. Uh, we will be with Bray Holmes at Arbondale for the Twin 50s. So make sure you like, share, subscribe. Go to the Bray Holmes Racing page on YouTube. And remember to comment number 57 on... What's the name of that video? Bobbin' and Weaving, son. All right, Josh, take us out. Thanks for watching, y'all. See ya.